Hello Virgo viewers. I'm going to be looking into what your person feels, what they're thinking, and more importantly, what action they're going to be taking towards you over the next week or two. Now this could be an ex, it could be a current partner, it could be someone new coming into your life. It's, it's whatever energy you're feeling. I am feeling something about creative writing and creative energy for you. I feel like I feel like some of you are on a very important new path. Um, let me see if I can tune into this energy. I just keep getting creative writing, something about creative writing. Like you maybe you're scripting. Are you trying to script, like write down what you want to manifest? Maybe that's what you're doing. Um, could be writing songs, could be writing just a letter to the universe about what you want to manifest could be writing a letter to the person to a person that you want to talk to i just see something about writing but i see creativity coming into it like you want to be careful how you word things um i do see a lot of you getting into your hobbies and passions over the next week or two i feel like that energy is coming in for you really strong where you're on this you're getting on this new path where it's like you're I'm trying to tune into this hold on It's like you're just figuring you're, something new is coming. I just, I just feel this new energy that it has to do with creativity and passion and career. Um, let's see what that's about really quickly, actually. Just really quick, and then I'm going to get into what your person is feeling and thinking. Okay, so for the I, I put in the intention now of channeling the Virgo viewers that are watching this. What messages do they need for the next coming week or two, I would say? What do you guys need to know for the next week or two? Oh, okay, I guess there it is. <laughs> Surrender that idea that you can fix somebody. So if you're hanging on to a relationship that's just kind of stagnant, it's saying to focus on what you want more. Um, it's time for a relationship to shift, is what the card says. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. So surrender the idea that you can fix someone. Um, let me see. If this is referring to a toxic or one-sided relationship, I think it's just saying, you know, you can't force someone to act right. They're either going to do it or they're not going to do it. Um, and you can't... If you're trying to work on someone who, say, has issues with this could be anything it could be alcohol alcoholism it could be partying it could be um drugs it could be you know toxic defense mechanisms whatever it is it's just saying you know you, you they have to want to fix this otherwise it's not going to work um surrender your ego so cultivate gratitude um try to let go of your just letting go of your defense mechanisms and surrender to passion get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly is what the card says focus on the people or activities that you're gonna ignite your passion and let it flow so i almost feel like the surrender the idea you can fix someone and surrender your ego card kind of goes hand in hand where it's like a stagnant situation that you've been trying to work on um, and it's like your ego doesn't want to let it go. Your ego is like, you know, I've been, I've done so much for this person. Like I've been through so much for this person. Um, and you want to be right. You want to be right about them. You want to prove everyone right about them. But it, it's like, you're just kind of tired of that. I do see something new coming in. So don't worry about it. And I do feel like this is a very passionate time for you. I don't know why I keep getting that so strongly. Um, especially with the card, you know, surrender to your passions. I just feel like you are in the process of getting into this creative flow where everything is just going to be coming to you naturally. Um, and I think that you're getting into this seductive energy where you're just going to attract the kind of person you want on just, it's, it's just going to come to you. I feel like you have a lot of blessings in store for you, especially over the next coming months. Um, so let's see. So the person in mind, whoever, whoever it is, it could be an ex, it could be a current partner, it could be someone new. Um, I do get new passionate energy coming in for a lot of you. So let's see, what are they what are they feeling and thinking? Like what are they like regarding this relationship? So for my Virgo viewers, for all the Virgos that are watching this, 
for all the Virgos that were drawn to this video. There's a reason you're drawn to this video. Please, please, I call upon spirit. Let me know what I need to tell them regarding their, their person's thoughts, feelings, regarding what they're, what they're wanting. Just show me this person's emotions. Show me what they need to know about their emotions. What? So for all my Virgo viewers, for all the Virgo viewers that are watching this video, what do you need to know? I feel like it's actually right there. Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> Six of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor. Okay. So we have then we have the Death card, and the, well, let me put these down here so you can actually see all these. Okay. So I kind of feel like one situation is is over with or close to ending, and another situation is coming in. So you might be talking someone now or you might start talking to someone in the near future this could be someone that you have your eye on maybe on social media or maybe just someone that's kind of watching you from afar and they're noticing you they're noticing your beauty your strength um I, I do feel i get that strong energy of one situation ending and another situation beginning but it's it's gonna it's good it's it's good energy this is going to be something that you want and with the Knight of Pentacles, or sorry, not the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles here, actually, I feel like it's kind of saying that you are going to have options. You're going to have multiple knights pursuing you here. Let's see, I'll put these right there. For some of you, I feel like you're almost attracting men that are too, like, okay, I see two different stories here. For some of you, I feel like you're attracting men that are almost too logical. They're too stubborn and stuck in their ways. Um, and this, you know, the Knight of Swords and Knight of Pentacles, it's like you have these love offers, but you have these love offers from men that are like very, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is kind of about abundance, but it's also doing the right thing um, over following your heart. And it's how I take the Knight of Pentacles. It's, it's like this stable knight, but, you know, stable isn't always exciting. <laughs> Same with the Knight of Swords. It's, it's kind of similar energy, at least in my opinion, how I how I personally read these cards. Um, you know, the good thing about the Knight of Swords is it is someone who is strong and masculine and, um, you know, willing to do what they need to do to come towards you. So I'm really getting two different stories here. For some of you, I see, I see that you're, you're attracting these people that are very... Um, you have options, but it's like they're very set in their ways. For others, I do feel that you have someone who's getting more serious about you. If you look at both these cards, you see this knight here, this knight of swords. You see how he looks like he's making a vow to you. Like he's got his wolf and his um his sword and he's he's you see how his head is bowed down. He's it's like he's making this commitment, he's making this vow to you. And with the Knight of Pentacles here too, it's like he's looking, he's looking forward, he's looking, he's being more serious, he's not just letting things go anymore, he's really giving this all some serious thought right now, um, and moving forward with you, but this man, it's, it's like this energy is very, very serious, it's very stubborn and very stuck in, his, and stuck in their ways, so it's like, you've got to consider that, it's like, you might get a commitment offer from this person, but do you want it, do you want someone who do you want someone who is you know that overly logical and just i'm just trying to i'm trying to like i feel this energy i'm trying to see i'm trying to it's just a very serious energy and we've got the emperor here too which is again you know tradition stability so this is this is a man who's who's very He's grounded and he's balanced, but at the same time, like, is that boring for you? I don't know. Um, let's see what else I can get here. I almost feel like this reading ended up being more about you than about them, because of the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles here, it's kind of like with the Six of Pentacles, it's all about, you know, wealth and generosity and, and gratitude and just abundance and having this balance. You know, you see this woman here who's got all her gold, gold coins in a row, 
and it's like living in luxury and it's like she's worked hard for this like she's worked hard for her career she's worked hard to get to where she's at in her life and she's not going to sacrifice that for another man um and, you know, the eight, Knight of Pentacles is all about, like like I said, I feel you focusing on yourself and on your passions and on your hobbies and on the things that you love over the coming, like, week or two, especially. And this is the Knight of, of Pentacles. It's it's good harvest. It's, you know, reward after, you, you know, you've worked so hard for it and your rewards, your ships are finally coming in. Um, it's like you have this sense of completion and it's like, beauty and and wealth like if you've been dieting or working on your working on yourself it's like you're finally seeing the results you want from the diet or if you're um you know saving money or you're you're focusing on your career and all your goals and hobbies it's like you're finally seeing this manifest in the physical realm for you um and and you're seeing your your those seeds have been planted a long time ago like you've already planted those seeds and you're getting the rewards now like all these good things are coming in for you um, and then we've got the death card here, but after, so the death card is an ending, but I almost feel like it's telling you, you have to end situations with stagnant, toxic people to get these rewards. Like if you've got someone holding you back that doesn't really believe in you as much as you believe in yourself, it's like, you know, you're a queen, you're, you've got that confidence. Um, you have that energy. And, um, and it was interesting, the card, another card just fell out that said, I listen to the opinion of others. I'm not sure who to trust now. And it's almost like a spirit is coming in and like one of your masculine spirits is coming in and being like, no, no, I shouldn't have believed the rumors. I shouldn't have believed that about you. I should have trusted you more. I should have, I should have admired you more, but it's, it's almost like it's too, almost too late. Like it's close to being too late for you. I feel like the ball's in your court. You can still have this person if you want. I feel like you're getting to a point where you can have anyone you want, but do you want them is the question. And that's what this reading is about. I feel is that, that that's what I'm getting from this energy is like, you got some questioning to do. Do you want this person still after all the bullshit? Do you still want to go through it? Is it worth it? Are they too logical and too plain and too focused on other things and too kind of boring for you? Like, are they too... It's just a serious energy I get from this reading. It's a very serious energy. You guys might be having some really serious, deep talks about who you are to each other and what you want. I feel that coming in for you guys. Um, and with the death, you're letting something go. Now, you know, this could be, if you guys decide that you want to commit to each other, this could be, you know, you're letting go of, um, you know, anything holding you back from committing, anything that was, that was blocking you too. But I think for a lot of you, it's, it's the death of, um, this old stagnant energy, this relationship that you don't want anymore, this person who hasn't been around, this energy that's just not quite at your level anymore you know what i mean but you've got the two of cups after that which is really promising it's like a love offer coming in it's like you have these other admirers and potential suitors around you that maybe you haven't noticed because you've been focused on this other energy and it's kind of like your guides are saying hey like you do have love coming in you don't have to get set on this other person that's not doing anything like you have other options around you like your guides are wanting to you're getting into this like very powerful like queen like energy where you just you know it's coming you know you know that good that good things are coming then we've got this we've got this emperor card here after that which again i think that you're you're attracting men you're attracting a certain type of man i feel um, and with the Emperor card here, I kind of feel like, I think there's a couple meanings of that. I think it is, it is, it is men that you're, that are drawn to you right now. Um, these men are very serious. Um, but I also feel like the Emperor is kind of saying that, that you got to set boundaries. You know, the Emperor is very strict. This is like the father figure in the tarot deck. Um. The Emperor is very strict, very set in his ways, very stubborn, but it's also about boundaries. That's how I take the Emperor when I see this card. It's about boundaries. It's like you've you've got the the death of this this old stagnant energy, 
And then you have like this rebirth where you're focusing on your passions and hobbies and career, but you've already, I mean, you've been focusing on that and it's coming in now. You're finally starting to, with that nine of pentacles that we just saw, you're finally starting to see the rewards from that work over the coming um, week or two. I feel like you're going to start seeing more and more rewards of, of all the work you've been doing on yourself. Um, and you've got some love offers coming in too. And then you've got the emperor too. So I feel like it's also saying, you know, you have to be kind of careful with your energy though. You have to set boundaries. You have to make sure people aren't taking advantage. I want to get some more cards actually to clarify. Let me see. So I feel like sometimes, you know, the tarot decks, even if you ask a certain question, it's your guides are just going to tell you what they want you to know. And so your guides are like, hey, like you have all this abundance coming in because you've worked so hard for your career and all these good things coming in for you, you know, that you deserve and that you've earned. You've, you've planted the seeds years ago. You know what I mean? It's, it's your time. It's not you don't have to wait for it anymore for the money, for the success, for the fame, for whatever it is you want, the beauty, the all you've. You've been putting the work in, you know what I mean? Like, you've been manifesting for yourself. You're a very powerful manifester, and so it's all coming in for you. And your guides wanted you to know that, but I want to see if they'll actually give me some clarity, um, some more clarity on what's actually going on with that person now. So for the Virgo viewers, what is going on with, okay, I guess, well, no, we can't have any cards. That's too much. It's too much. <laughs> Too many cards. All right, Virgo viewers. So what, please give me some clarification. What is going on with, um, you know, it could be a current lover, new lover, exes, whoever your person is. What is going on with that? I feel like your passion and your energy is really drawing people to you right now. It's really drawing in new men. You have a lot of admirers that are kind of intimidated by your energy, and so they want to reach out and say something to you, but they're just too shy and awkward to. It's like they just don't know what to say because it's like you're just very... You come off very strong and confident, which is good, but at the same time, there's certain men around you that are like... They're just like, they don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I mean, that's part of the seriousness, too, is like these guys are so serious when they just need to chill out. Like, they don't need to be so fucking serious to win you over. Like, they just need to calm down. Oh, men. Men. All right. So for my Virgo viewers, what is going on with your... Your current situation, whatever it might be. So, what does this person feel towards you? What's going on there? Okay, I have a weird way of shuffling the cards right now. Okay, we've got. Page of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Ace of Cups, the Hierophant. Again, with there's this energy, it's like, it's very, you know, spirit says what it wants to say, but it's like there's this heavy energy of like looking, do you see this right here? <laughs> do you see how she's looking this way? She's looking. Anyway, so looking to the past and the present, and then this, this center is this Five of Swords energy, which is like defense mechanisms, defensiveness, arguments, um, stagnant energy, toxicity, um, you know, it's just a heavy, a heavy stagnant energy, just backstabbing things that betrayal, things that are just not serving you anymore. However that, that goes, it's, just, it's not for you anymore. Like, you don't want it to be for you anymore. And it's like you're creating, you're looking at, at you're taking what you learned from the past and creating something new with it. You're focusing on this, this energy and you're creating the kind of life that you want. And you're finally getting it. And with the Ace of Cups, it's like you're getting into this, this energy where you're just, you're seductive and you're loving and you're manifesting love into your life. You're figuring out what you do and don't want. And so this energy is... It's, um, let's see, with the Hierophant here, 
it's it's again it's very similar energy to the emperor it's 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 lessons is um this strict energy somebody that's that's very very traditional and so i feel like you do have this this potential with this traditional man but again do you want that like do you okay the hierophant in the chariot just popped out when i dropped all my cards so <laughs> i think it's saying that you know this person is coming towards you but again they're very traditional and you have to figure out like is this person on your path with you is this right for you is this what you want are they admiring how free-spirited you are are they really going to step up for you um let me see what what potential actions will this person take this energy what will this what are the potential actions this person might take so channeling all the Virgo viewers that are watching this right now, any Virgos that were drawn to this video, what potential actions are being taken? I guess I'll take all these and see what I can get from them. Knight of Wands, King of Wands, the Hanged Man, <laughs> The Queen of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Higher, or no, the Empress, the Ace of Swords, <laughs> the Page of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. So this reading, as much as I wanted to clarify what your person is feeling or thinking, this reading ended up being more about you. Um, your guides wanted to put more emphasis on you than on this other person. Again, you do have people coming towards you. You do have love coming towards you, but your guides seem to want you to focus on your hobbies and your passions and the this abundance that's that's coming to you right now. You know, we have this very serious energy. So I don't know if you're getting in arguments or you maybe just you guys need to have some some serious talks or what. But it's like the Knight of Wands and then the, the King of Wands here. Um, it's like this woman has this this faith and this strength, you know, but she's very serious, but she knows she's going to succeed in the end. And then you have this King of Wands energy coming in, like this passionate person. But like, look at their faces. It's like they're both so serious like they're both so stubborn and I feel like maybe you guys aren't talking right now um you guys are just both so stubborn and I think you're getting tired of not talking I think you're just getting tired of you guys like if this is someone you're with I kind of feel like it's someone that it's like you're set in your ways and they're set in their ways and it's like you're just getting tired of it and with the hangman it's kind of like you're just letting go of that energy you're just like getting into this this you're, you're tuning into spirit and just kind of letting things flow and you're like, I just don't want to wait for this person anymore. I don't want to keep waiting for this, for them to, to open up. I don't want to, it's like this, all the masculine cards I got in this reading, like the masculine was very stubborn and very set in his ways and very strict and very like not willing to show his emotions. Um, and I think, you know, you deserve more than that. I think you're tired of that energy. Um, I do feel like for the Virgos that are subscribing, I do feel like new love is coming. So I think hopefully next month when I read for you guys, you're probably going to have some some new energy coming into the reading, I feel, regarding love. So there might be some good updates. I do feel that coming in for you. But I think it, like for now, for the rest of the month, I just mostly see you focusing on yourself. And with the hangman, it's kind of like you're letting go of all of it. You're just trying to like... You know, she's got this flower in her hand, and it's like she's still kind of holding on a little bit, but at the same time, she like she doesn't want to keep doing this to herself anymore. Um, whether it's it's either it's either fighting or it's just stagnant energy, which is fighting is stagnant energy, I guess. If you're fighting again and again and you're miscommunicating, um, so I feel like it could be fights or it could just be like you guys just aren't talking. It's like you're both so stubborn, you're both not being vulnerable, you're both trying to be strong and you're just letting ego take control and you're not wanting to say how you feel to each other and um with the hangman here it's kind of like you're just you're tired of it you're letting it all go and you're getting in your queen of swords energy where you're just you're strong and confident and powerful and you're focusing on yourself and on the things that you want and the things that you love 
And a result, as a result of you tuning into your spirit and your intuition and letting your guides lead you and, you know, letting go of anything holding you back, letting go of the toxic energy, letting go of stagnant energy, letting go of people who disrespect your boundaries, letting go of the, the people that are just having you wait for them and not doing anything to be a part of your life. Um, as a result of, of, you know, reclaiming this, the strength and confidence, but also intuition, like you want to go easy on yourself. It's also just, there's creative writing keeps coming up. So it's like creative flow, like doing like your passions, your hobbies, like getting in tune with this creative energy. Um, and getting in just, it's it's like this, it's this gentle energy too, because this is a very serious reading that I got for you guys, so I don't want you to take it too seriously. I want you to also be able to have fun and let yourself love and let yourself be vulnerable, let yourself be happy. Um, but it's just kind of saying like, you know, focus on like your passions and your hobbies and the things that you've been pursuing and manifesting. They're finally manifesting for you physically. Like, you're going to start seeing more and more results of these things manifesting for you in the physical realm. And so I feel like this reading is just kind of, it's it's just kind of pointing to that. It's like if you, it's like saying if there's someone who's just not doing any good for you, just let them go. Um, know that better is coming for you. And with the Ace of Pentacles, you have this really beautiful new fresh start for yourself that's coming in finally. And you're in your empress energy this is this is motherly energy this is empathy this is abundance this is happiness in all areas of your life this is just this really good energy coming in for you finally and you're in your power i see you coming into your power more and more and more and developing your intuition on much deeper levels than ever before and you're you're in this empress, empress energy and manifesting what you want and again we have another new start ace of pentacles and ace of swords there was a lot of pentacles and swords energy in this reading so a lot of like pentacles is like more about like abundance and wealth and finances and good things coming in and like swords is like a like mentality and strength and this sharp energy and you know you have um you have ace of, with the ace of pentacles you've got a new start coming in with this um with abundance and money and finances and career and all these all these new good things and your passions and hobbies all this all this energy coming in finally for you that you can finally see manifest in the physical realm i feel like you've been like you know i've been working i've been working where is my where's my manifestation like what am i doing this for like where all this energy i put into it when am i going to see these seeds finally sprout and you're seeing them sprout now finally like it's coming in now finally for you and with the Ace of Swords, you also have a new start regarding your mentality. It's like a new perspective, new boundaries, stronger boundaries, um, clarity, understanding who you are and who you want, who you, uh, who you want too. Yeah, also who you want, which you will and will not tolerate in relationships. And um, it's like you're using this sword to cut out, cut and doing some cut and clear work right now, and cutting and clearing um, old soul contracts and old stagnant energy and anyone that's holding you back or just not on your level, not understanding you, not appreciating you the way that you should. You are so strong right now. You see all these women in this card. She's so, they're so strong and powerful. And it's like, you're just cutting and clearing anything that is no longer serving you over the next week or two. Um, you, you do have with the five of pentacles, you do have some maybe, well, I guess the loss would be with this person that you're letting go of. Um, in poverty it's like there's i don't think it's gonna last long though i think it's just temporary i think you're kind of worried about finances right now but i do see you coming out of that with the page of wands and with this with this page of wands i feel like again it's a very serious energy with if you look at our face it's like it's, it's this very serious reading that you guys got today um but if you if you look at the page of wands energy it's it's like a fresh new start so it's abundant it's so like, you know, getting a new job or new career or having your passions, you know, your music or your hobbies or whatever creative pursuits that you've been pursuing. It's like seeing them manifest and finally reap some rewards from those pursuits. Um, and with this page of wands, it's a new start. So the five of pentacles energy, I don't see you being in that too long. I see you coming out of it with the page of wands. Which is, you know, again, just all, this card is all about new beginnings. It's all about letting go of the old and the stagnant energy and, like, just getting into this new energy. And, again, I know this card really emphasized um, strength and, and staying true to yourself 
and staying in your power and setting boundaries with people and being willing to do cut and clear work and cutting out people that are just no longer serving you. But at the same time, don't harden your heart. Like, I really don't want anyone to harden their heart. You don't want that. I do see new love coming for you. I do see someone who's more on your level. I think it's just been a process for you. I think it was a process going through the abusive and or just toxic, stagnant, emotionally unavailable relationships. It was a process getting through all that energy and learning from it and going through all of that to find your right person. And I do feel like I feel like the um, the abundance in career and you know hobbies and your passions is gonna is gonna come first and then after that I feel like this these this new person is coming in and again I do see new people coming in for you and I do see I see someone who's kind of serious coming in for you someone who's all strict and set in their ways and stubborn I mean you do still have that person that cares but I don't see them admitting that they care anytime soon um but again don't harden your heart I you want to keep your heart open you know that's where your strength is your strength is lies in in knowing what you deserve and knowing who like figuring out and really knowing and sticking to who you are and setting those boundaries but you want to keep your heart open to the right people you want to still don't get self-destructive don't don't get depressed and and say screw it all because it's not that's not strength that's not where your strength lies you know what i mean it's it's not about uh, how do i explain this it's not about um lacking love or not allowing yourself to love it's more just just not allowing the wrong people to to take so much of your time and energy not allowing people that are not texting back and not doing what they should be doing to take so much of your time or energy but you still deserve love you're still going to have love you're still going to have your person um i do really feel that Unless for some of you, maybe your person is just strict. Maybe your person is just a serious person and you want that. For a lot of you, I feel like you're probably not going to want that though. Because um, again, they're very set in their ways. They're very stubborn. So it's like you have that option. Yeah, you can. And you can keep going around with this. But I, I, I feel them continuing at this moment at least. You know, energy always changes. It could change in a week from now. But at the moment, I see them still being stuck in their ways and kind of just, just not emotionally available to you and just kind of doing their own thing. Um, and just not willing if you hurt them they're not going to tell you they're not willing to tell you right now I feel they're just kind of it's it's like you're just at like this stalemate with them where it's just like you both are holding on to your pride and so I do feel like you you're letting go of that now and you're um allowing this new energy in but again it's it's really even though it wasn't the best for love it's it's really good for you because you are getting um everything you want everything you've been working towards with your hobbies careers your passions you're going to start seeing that manifest finally and you're going to be so happy that you didn't give up on it and that you kept doing the work that you you know you needed to do um it's 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 all coming in for you now and i feel like as this comes in too and you really your confidence is going to grow more and more and i feel like as you get in that energy you're going to start attracting the right people um, I, again, I feel like you have this serious energy and they have the serious energy that's kind of coming in, but it's like you're starting to, you're, you're starting to get back in touch with your more intuitive side, like your softer side, like your goddess side, um, just this beautiful, creative, flowing energy, like your passion, like letting yourself just find, like you're finding yourself again. This reading is all about finding yourself again. And as you do that, I feel like the right people are going to be more drawn to that. Maybe in the past, people have been drawn to you because you've been kind of like, you come off as almost like, like cold and hard and like, you know, I feel like maybe you're, you're attracting these men that are like, oh, she's so hard, like she's hard to get, like I got to get her because of that. And you want someone who's going to try to pursue you for the right reasons, not just because you're playing hard to get, but because you're, or not just because you're focused on something else, but you want people that are going to actually pursue you because they love you, because they understand you and they know you. And I think that you're going to have this surge of clarity and these epiphanies come in, and you're going to realize that over the coming weeks. And you're going to start finally attracting those men that actually love you for who you are. Like, you're going to understand where your strength lies. You're going to understand this balance of open your heart but setting boundaries at the same time so i hope this reading resonated um if, the, if it does please like share subscribe i will be doing um zodiac readings again in the near future probably about a week or two from now i'll be doing more zodiac readings so thanks for watching